Will suicide keep you out of heaven? According to the word of God, it looks like it will. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 15, it says, we know that no murderer has eternal life. It didn't say some murders, most murders. No, he says no murderer has eternal life. And I think we could agree that suicide is murder. The commandment says thou shalt not murder. It doesn't say thou shalt not murder another person. No, it just says thou shalt not murder. Your life is as important as the other person's life. So to kill yourself is murder. And the Bible says no murder has eternal life in him. You say to me, but, but I'm a Christian and God is forgiving. Are you saying, Bishop Brown, that people who've committed murder can't get saved? Absolutely, people who committed murder can get saved. But once they get saved, they're not a murderer anymore. You understand? They're bearing good fruit. They're loving one another. But if a person doesn't repent, they're still a murderer. So yes, God can save murders. But what is suicide? It's the final act of a person's life, which makes the final act the supreme definition of who they are. And by killing yourself, you end your life as a murderer. And no murder has eternal life in you. You see, the devil's going to lie to you. He's going to tell things in your mind, or maybe even through preachers. They'll tell you, as long as you're a believer, you'll go to heaven if you commit suicide. Do you realize how deceptive that is? The devil's telling you, do something evil so that good may come. And what's the good? You get to go to heaven. But what good is going to happen to your children? What good's going to happen to your parents, to your church? What's going to happen to your friends, your spouse? No good's happening to them. You see, you're concentrating on what you think will, the good that will happen to you. But the devil's lying to you. He's telling you, kill yourself so you can go to heaven. He's telling you, do evil so that something good can happen to you. That is a lie. Yeah, but I'm a Christian. And so being a Christian means it doesn't matter what I do. Well, first of all, how do you know you're a true Christian? Didn't Jesus say in Matthew 7, many will say to me, many will say to me, Lord, Lord. And he's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. How do you know you're not the one who confessed that Jesus is Lord, got baptized in water, but you were a worker of iniquity. And suicide is the proof that your life has not been changed. I'm here to tell you, friend, don't commit suicide. And the truth is, you're concentrating on yourself and your problems, yet your problems don't even amount to a hill of beans. The truth is, God can touch you and make you happy, but you need to get on your knees and repent before God for having such evil thoughts in your heart and start concentrating on helping others.